Hey everybody, I'm Sam. This is my 1993 AutoZam AZ1, AZ1, and I'm going to swap the turbo on it. So this is video series part one of uh, making the car faster. After doing a bunch of research and getting creative with Google Translate, I sent a bunch of emails to old tuning companies that used to make aftermarket parts for the AutoZam. Most of them are still around, but only deal with cappuccinos. And even though they share the same engine, the ECUs are different. So I needed a kit specifically made for my car. Eventually, I was passed along to a company called News that still makes just about every performance part you want. Kiichiro at News sent me a Hitachi HT07 Turbo, uh, heavy duty spark plugs, 300cc injectors, custom headers, and I sent them over my ECU so that you can modify it uh, to work with all these new parts. And the time has finally come to install it. So I figure the first thing to do is look at all the components inside and figure out which ones go where and what does what. This is hatch behind the driver's seat that you take off to access the turbo and exhaust and all that cool stuff. There's a little intercooler, really tiny. The vents that are pretty nasty go in and feed air to the intercooler. And yeah, there's the little turbo down to the exhaust, and under that is how you change the oil. Let's see, I can't even see, I can't even get to it, but you might be able to see an oil filter there. That is the oil filter. It's possible. So under this heat shield is the stock exhaust manifolds. I'll take that off in a bit. So that will be replaced with this shiny bit, and these are the, uh, this whole assembly is the turbo, so that would be this. Um, so all of this would kind of like mount, okay, this would be upside down. It'd be like this. Yeah, that's going to look great. Alright, wow, that's heavy. Okay, well, first things first, take off what's right on top, which is this intake tube. And let's start with a screwdriver and take off this uh, hose to the intercooler. Loosen up this, and everything is rusty. It's crazy, but it's kind of cool that they put this hatch here. It's like they wanted you to upgrade the turbo. And when I took this off, a little bit of oil here. And I'm assuming that's not very good. So, changing the turbo is probably a good idea anyways. Let's see if I can get this thing off. I don't think any of this has been changed ever. It's all original. I mean, when I bought the car, a lot of weird stuff was installed. Like, there was a, a, a gear gauge. So it'd tell you if you're in neutral or I guess what gear you're in. But nothing was really hooked up. Um, the car also had... Wow, that's a long bolt. The car also has... Um, door actuators. For keyless entry. But I have no idea how you would wire them up. And there was no remote included with the car, so... I have no idea. Ugh. Now I can take off the heat shield and see what we're dealing with. Um, exhaust manifold wise. So far everything's just been 10 millimeter standard Japanese cars from the early 90s. Everything is really rusty. But whatever, it's been replaced. I'm not putting this ugly exhaust shield on again. Wow, okay, so broke that bolt off um, right in the middle. The other two came off though, so. That's the heat shield off. I don't need to use this anymore anyways, so no worries. But yeah, that's coming off. And another thing is, when you're working on this car, you should probably put a towel or something over this hatch because the, the edge is super sharp. And I've already kind of sliced up my arm a little bit. It sucks. Alright, let's just cover up that. And spray some of the... Yeah, I do have to take off the turbo, so I might as well spray that too. 
So actually, I'm thinking that let's take off the turbo first to get to all the other bolts under uh, under the turbo on the exhaust manifold, which means I need to remove. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are oil lines. I don't know. We'll find out. Just in case. It's probably gonna spill some oil. We have to change the oil anyways. So yeah, it's a good time. Okay, so I've never done this before. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, I'm just going to take this thing off because I can't get the hoses off as easily as I would like to. So Okay, so on further examination, um, all of this is connected. So I need to remove this, uh, which I can't get to, um, from here because that is a nut that has to, or a bolt that has to come out. Um, so I have to take everything off at once, which means removing this and this which should be easy. Uh, and then I can, well I should remove these too, and then that, yeah, should be actually pretty easy. So I've decided to remove this hose that goes to the intercooler, just because it's big and in the way. Ugh. All right, cool. So that's what happens. <laughs> so you have this trusty rag. I think this actually came with the car. Anyways. Well, it's a good thing I took that hose off the intercooler because there is more oil in there, which means something is leaking, and that's not good. So after taking off the big hose that connects to the intercooler, uh, I was able to easily get the intake um, intake tube off the hose, um, just with these, and then I took this one off too. Uh, so the turbo is pretty much freed up to come out. Uh, and on closer inspection, um, I'm guessing one of these is oil and one of these is coolant because the middle one uh, is green. So I don't know anything about turbos really. <laughs> I'm just swapping it for some more power. Um, but I'm learning new things every day, which I like. These bolts are 12 millimeter, so hopefully they they come off pretty easily. And they are coming off super easily. Hopefully that's the same case for the rest of the exhaust bolts. But wow, if you're just changing the headers and not the turbo, you should really call up news and order a turbo because that is a lot of work just for headers. Yeah, my advice. That was a crazy long bolt too. Wow. All right. Yeah, the, uh, the headers on the new turbo uh, from news, the custom built headers are a lot shorter. Um, same with the intake tube actually. Um, they use a lot smaller bolts but getting the bolts on here are going to be really difficult uh, in this small space because the headers are so... I don't know. It's gonna be hard. Alright so I'm finding even more things to take off. I have to take off that. That. Um, and then I have to mount that uh, the metal tube thing on the new turbo. Uh, I'm wondering if there's oil in that too. Who knows? We'll see. Well, nothing really dripped out, but it looks like it's got stuff in it. So, I don't know. Is it oil or coolant? What do you guys think? Um, uh, uh, yeah, it's oil. Okay. Yeah, oil line. So that maybe, the, maybe that's the out oil going back into the engine or something? Uh, who knows? Okay, now I'm going to take off the exhaust, and this is just because I'm impatient, yeah. Alright, I'm just breaking bolts right and left, so on the exhaust there's three bolts. This one's super easy to get out, the middle one not so much, the back one uh, really hard, it's probably going to break too, so uh, I'll have to find three new bolts, or two, two new bolts really, um, should be pretty easy. but. Uh, since I'm swapping the turbo anyways, I don't really care. So yeah, it's all good. Keep breaking bolts. And I have my little helper Tilly. Doesn't want to do any work. It's okay. My wing is now a cat shelf. So that was a huge pain. Uh, I'm pretty sure I broke that bolt. I have no idea where it went. It just flew off. Um, smashed my hand really hard. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just want to say that I left one bolt here just so the turbo can hang and then 
I'm gonna remove this one and hopefully everything is disconnected enough that I can just pull the whole turbo assembly out. That's the theory. Oh man, all right, so I should have looked at the turbo that I have in the house because there are actually four bolts on this. There's another one hidden way back down there. All right, so I'm gonna try and find that and, uh, and not break it. Yeah. All right, so everything just barely fits in here. Um, I'm sure taking off the exhaust sensor would be helpful, but I just need to get down to there. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much certain that anybody who wants to do this should just remove the engine. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Got it! That was a pain. Huge, huge pain, but I don't think I broke the bolt, so this is great news. I have two bolts, just need to find two more of the same size, should be easy. Everything's shaking, so it looks like it's loose and it's gonna come out. Excellent news. Victory! Wait a second. Oh, man. Okay, sorry, one more thing. Everything's loose except for that. Right there. It's just one bolt. Just have to take that off. And we should be good. It's a 14. Let's see if we can get this off pretty easily. Ooh. Finally something shiny and not rusty. And it's got this cool little washer on it. Alright, I'm gonna have to save that, but that is loose now, which means the turbo can come off. Keep in mind, I've never done this before, so I'm super excited. Alright, so everything's loose and it's ready to come out, except this piece keeps hitting this uh, pipe right here, which means either I. No, I can't take that. <laughs> I can't take that off. Alright. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to fiddle with it. Um, if you're changing your exhaust at this time, it's probably super easy. You could just shift it out that way. But I'm not, so it's gonna be a pain. But I'll show you what it looks like outside after fiddling with it for the next 15 minutes. All right, we have it loose, and it's coming out. It's leaking some oil. There you go. Oops, there you go, turbo's out. Now would be a perfect time to show you exactly where the oil filter is. Right there, under everything, impossible to get to. Even now, I don't even know how I'm gonna get it out. I'm probably just gonna stab it with a screwdriver. Oh, there's that bolt I broke. <laughs> yep. That's what it looks like without a turbo. Probably has 10 horsepower now. <laughs> and it's important to note that the whole turbo removal process only took me about two hours. Uh, and if you've been watching this uh, up until now, you know that I don't really know what I'm doing. So it's not too difficult. I mean, it's really complex. There's all these like vacuum hoses and oil lines and whatever, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, pretty simple when you think about it. And this helpful little hatch is uh, pretty useful. So yeah, next we're taking this off. All right, so I don't really know where all the bolts are. I see there's one on the side, another on the side, and then there's like an Allen head uh, below. So let's compare to what it's going to look like. Holy crap, so cool. Um, yeah, that's going to sit right there and look amazing. Um, so there are one on the side, another on the side, the Allen head down here, and then one probably impossible one to get to. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So that was unexpected. Yeah, sure. So that was way too easy. All right, and now we need a six millimeter hex uh, Allen head socket. Connect that to half inch. And then when you really need some leverage. <laughs> so what I thought was gonna be really hard actually turned out to be pretty easy. And yeah, after a couple more turns of this, um, I should have the exhaust manifold off. So this sums up part one in the series of turbo swapping an AZ-1. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it all back together inside and tomorrow I'll hopefully reinstall with the new HT-07 turbo. And uh, I'll put in the new ECU and fuel injectors and all that stuff. Yep, thanks for watching.